Hello everyone, um, I thought I would unwrap my new Artful Days goodie box in front of everyone so you could all see what amazing stuff Julie has put into the goodie box this month. Uh, so this is the February goodie box which is called The Right Stuff and you can see it's packaged in this beautiful pink tissue paper, loads of this gorgeous red uh, burgundy ribbon. Fabulous, it's always so exciting when you get to open these. So I'm probably opening it upside down, it's probably the first fail. Oh no, I think I am the right way up. Um, I always try to preserve as much of the wrapping paper as I can, but now I can use it in other projects. So, there we go. Oh no, so, not upside down at all. So, Let's see what we've got in here. Ooh. Okay, so first things first, a little sealed envelope. Oh, oh, some little um, handmade tags for being a subscriber. And then this is the list of what's in the thing, so let's not spoil it and just open it. More beautiful tissue paper. <gasps> And I'm already going. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh. Right, so we have. Do you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I put it to one side so we can look at each, each of the comfort. So we've got some brads. Really cute little brads. Love the little heart and the bumblebee and the pack. Oh, love them all. Okay. And then we've got some little. Um, charms that look like they're make today ridiculously amazing let's see joy oh let your joy rise to the surface whatever whatever you are be a good one <laughs> that's a good one I keep calm and carry on so some really positive little messages on those ones oh gorgeous little hanging charms laugh Hope, faith, friends. Right. The beautiful flowers. These flowers are always really cute. And I always love the little curly things. I usually end up cutting them off, but I really like them. They're really nice little sort of canvases. Um, oh, beads. Oh, they're interesting. So, letter beads and a few word beads as well. Sing, ever, road, sad, may, like. And loads of letters, so it's interesting. I wonder what I can make with those. Um, oh, masking tape, right? Want to know what this is? Let's open this one up. I'm gonna suspect it's a letter washi tape. Ooh, gotta open it. Ah, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's a nice washi. I like those. That'd be really nice. But that'd be really nice. You could probably colour that in as well. Right, so that's the washi tape. I won't bother putting it back in the box. Oh, some beautiful laser cut words. Dream, sweet, inspiration, joy. Um, Enjoy and forever. They're really nice. Um, some resin frames. They're really nice. I'm not entirely convinced that colour's very me. Might have to do some altering on that one, but still really pretty frames. Lovely little wood chip, uh, wood cuts. Happy you and me and holiday. That's cute with a little fish. Really nice on scrap of page or something like that. Ooh, now, they're interesting, tassely things. Some of them have got little balls on, some have got little leaves on, and then this one that seems to be, there we go, it's got little sort of um, beady diamonds. Very cute. Okay, ooh, now, there's always a, a project, like a, um, a bag or a set of cards or something like that. This one's got this little cute... Board. That 
is a really that's just dying to be done as soon as possible really oh they're so cute so the little circles have all got the word love on them and the little hearts so all sparkly i don't know if you can see the love word or not Hmm, difficult to tell if you can see that or not on the camera. Two beautiful create wards. Not too thick either. They are, they'll be perfect for embellishing projects. Either a journal page or <laughs> my joy that is ATCs. Oh, some more little word tags. Inspire, fearless, family, trust, blessed and beautiful. Fabulous. Oh. A mystery. I'm trying, whilst I'm unwrapping this, trying to work out what it is from the list. I can't quite see it at the moment. <gasps> it's, a, it's a micron pen. So I use this all the time for my bullet journaling. So that's that's fab for me. Probably won't get used with any of these. It probably get put with my bullet journal supplies. But there you go. Then we have. Fabulous stencil. Look at that. Love those arrows. Brilliant. Here, there, this, that. They're really, that's really interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Already. Head is already going. Ooh, can do something with that and that. Ooh, right. I have another parcel. Another little piece of paper. <gasps> A real ribbon. Wowzers. That is nice ribbon. Oh, can't seem to undo it, as you never can when you're watching something. Oh, that's beautiful ribbon. It's quite a nice thick one. Beautiful. I really like that. Now, the thing says three metres on it. Oh, there probably is three metres on that. Wow, that's generous. Huge amounts of that beautiful red ribbon, stripy ribbon. And then, last but not least, we have papers. So, gorgeous papers. And I think these are Seven Dot Studio. Yeah, Seven Dot Studio papers. Beautiful double sided papers. Red oh, I like that one. Oh, that's, that's, that's me. Nice. Oh, these are just gorgeous papers. Really, and when we say papers, they're so thick. I have no idea what the weight is, but they are really thick. Um, just gorgeous. Love them. Love, 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 love. They are fabulous. So... That is the box for this month and within here it has the little thing of what's coming next month. So the next month's theme is called Going Around. That that could mean anything really. Hmm. So I'm going to puzzle it that one. So as per usual, there's a mountain of supplies here. That is just trying to be done as soon as possible. Hmm. I have to put these all back in the box because I haven't got time to do anything with them right now. Um, but that is just crying to be used at some point soon. So, I think what I'll do now is finish this. This is my first YouTube video. Um, no idea what it's going to look like and whether it's going to go anywhere or not at this point it depends what it looks like but i hope you've enjoyed seeing all the bits and pieces that come out of the artful days goodie box for this month um it will be really good if when i actually get around to using these perhaps if you could i could remember to film it and maybe you'll be able to see what i do with some of these goodies because there's so many things in the packet i have no idea what i'm going to make um I will make some ATCs because that's my current obsession, but I, I doubt that I'd be able to use even a tenth of these products in, in one project. So I'd imagine that like the other boxes that I've already had, 
that there'll still be quite a lot left over for future projects. The really good news is that some of these I can already see will coordinate with things that I've already got from the previous boxes. So um, once I've made a couple of projects using this box, I'll be able to put them all together and then maybe make another project putting things together um, from several boxes. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed as per usual so um hopefully if i can work it all out i'll work it out put the links onto the artful days website so you can see um where you go to order these things um and i have to say i am once again blown away with them so thanks for joining me i hope my rambling wasn't too bad and um i'm hoping that the the way i've set up the camera works for this kind of project that I'm filming and also some of the other things I want to film um, either to do with a bullet journal or actually seeing me create stuff so thank you for joining me thank you for bearing with uh, whilst I work out what I'm going to say and what I'm going to do and um, and thank you to Julie for sending me an Artful Days box thank you bye